Do you know that you could immigrate to Canada of your dream without a job offer? If yes, forget your worry about the challenges of not having a job offer, as this video would analyze the possibilities of doing so without having to break the bank. Canada is a country of great diversity, with a population of over 38 million people. It is a compelling destination, known for its stunning beauty, breathtaking natural landscape and friendly people. So, without much ado, here are some ways to access Canada immigration without a job offer. It is important to note that each immigration program has its own eligibility criteria and requirements. Most immigrants would ask, do I need a temporary resident visa, TRV, or an electronic travel authorization, ETA? But know that if you want to work in Canada, you may need a TRV or an ETA. A temporary resident visa is an official document issued by an officer and placed on your passport to show that you meet the general requirements to enter Canada as a temporary resident. While an electronic travel authorization is a paperless document that is electronically linked to your passport. It also shows that you are eligible to enter Canada as a temporary resident. If you need a TRV or an ETA, you do not have to fill out a separate application or pay more fees. It will be issued by the officer at the same time with the documents you need for your entry to Canada as a worker. Let's go straight to business of the day. You could immigrate to Canada without a job offer via any of these routes, although there are many ways, but these are the best five selected paths just for you. Express Entry. It is a point-based system for skilled workers who want to move to Canada permanently. Here, you do not need a job offer to apply, but you will need to meet certain eligibility criteria such as language proficiency, education, and work experience. If you are eligible, you can create a profile on the Express Entry system and get entered into a pool of candidates. Then, candidates with the highest scores are invited to apply for permanent residence. Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs are programs run by individual Canadian provinces and territories that allow them to nominate candidates for permanent residence. Some PNPs have streams that do not require a job offer such as the International Graduate Stream, the Entrepreneur Stream, or the Self-Employed Stream. Each province or territory has its own eligibility criteria and application process. You could visit acanada.ca for more information about this route. Next, Study Permit. If you enroll in a Canadian post-secondary institution, you can apply for a study permit. After completing your studies, you may be eligible for a post-graduation work permit which allows you to work in Canada for up to three years. You have up to 180 days after you receive confirmation from your school that you have completed all the requirements of your study program to apply for a work permit. This confirmation could be a degree, diploma, transcript, or an official letter from your school. During this time, you can gain Canadian work experience and apply for permanent residence through Express Entry or a PNP. Similarly, Startup Visa Program. If you have a business idea and can secure support from a designated Canadian organization, you may be eligible for the Startup Visa Program. This program provides a path to permanent residence for innovative entrepreneurs who could create jobs and contribute to the Canadian economy. You can visit www.rcc.canada.ca for more information. You must pitch your business idea for each organization, and if your pitch is successful, you will receive a letter of support from the organization and must be included in your startup visa application. The easiest and the last on our list is family sponsorship. If you have a spouse or common law partner who is a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, they may be able to sponsor you for permanent residence. In some cases, other family members like your parents or grandparents may also be eligible to sponsor you. There are two stages in the process for your eligible relatives to become permanent residents. You apply to sponsor your relatives on official Canada immigration website. Your family members must also apply for permanent residency in Canada via the same website. You must send both your sponsorship application and the permanent residence application for your relatives at the same time. 
Do not forget that that your sponsor must be at least 18 years of age as a Canadian citizen or person registered in Canada as an Indian under the Canadian Indian Act or a permanent resident of Canada. If all these are adhered to, your application would be processed and would be notified upon approval or rejection as the case may be. Sign up to get updates on work permits, visas, permanent residency, and visa-sponsored jobs in Canada. You can subscribe for updates on the IRCC website. Link is available in bio of this video. Thanks for watching.